Hello, welcome to the channel once again. This is your girl Benua. Today we are making ripened plantains with simple but delicious bean stew. It's very delicious and healthy. Happy New Year. May this year be fruitful to us all. This is my first video for the year. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, kindly do so. Subscribe to Benua's Cooking Stories. Put on notification bell to be notified always. So these are my ingredients. Palm oil, some chopped tomatoes, onions and fermented fish plus my salmon so i have blended some pepper garlic ginger and some onions already so this is the palm oil in my saucepan here on fire so at this point i will put in my fermented fish this new year our kitchen should be so aromatic so i will give it a stir for some time and infuse the flavor in it uh, palm oil and pimented fish goes very well. So this my chopped onions. I'll stir the onion for a while. Give it like two to three minutes. Thank you for being part of this journey for the year 2023. Continue with me this year. So we add in a slice of chopped tomatoes in it at this point. So if this is your first time, I'm Ifwa Benua, you are welcome to the channel. You can leave your comments, share the link, subscribe, put on notification bell to be among this wonderful family. And to be among the first persons to be notified anytime I upload new videos. Yes, let me also thank my returning subscribers for the constant love. So here we've added in the blended ingredients, the pepper, onion, garlic and some ginger. So give, allow it to also cook for a while. Give it a stir intermittently to avoid burning. We then go ahead and add the fish. You can add any fish of your choice. Yes. Give it a little salt to boost the taste. I cook the beans with some salt. When the beans were done, I added some salt. That's why I didn't add too much salt into the stew. Yes. So we can go ahead and add the beans and give it a stir. So at this point, it will depend on how hard or soft you want your beans to be. So I mash some into it with my ladle and give it a stir. Give it a few minutes and we will be done for that. So now I go ahead with my ripened plantains. I first it, slice it and add some salt to it. So once my oil is hot, I just add or put some of the very plantains in it because my frying pan is not that big I'll fry it in batches so this is the first batch so I'll flip it over at this point So after frying for a while, we take it from the razor oil, it's done. So I'll go ahead and fry the other batches, yeah. This is a simple recipe, very delicious, easy to make and affordable. So the beans is ready. Now we'll serve ourselves and enjoy you have the ingredients don't waste time prepare it with my simple method and you will love the outcome yes so i appreciate your support for 
the past years yeah Benioa's cooking stories is now 3.4 k so we are praying that this year may we hit more than 5k so if i'm able to do that it will depend on you my lovely subscribers and viewers so guys now i'm serving the beans with my ripened plantains you can enjoy the beans with your rice and pc any food of your choice yes so i prefer taking it with my ripened plantains and it tastes amazingly delicious thank you guys if you have watched to this point i really appreciate thank you for watching please like my video comment and share it's a bye for now